People have been searching for the fountain of youth for centuries, but it might just be right under our noses. Maybe it's found in youthful blood, maybe it's found in the heart of a shark, and maybe it's Maybelline. Here are the top 10 unsettling discoveries that might hold the secret to life. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have youthful blood. Okay, so this one is a little out there, but it's something that researchers are really looking into. So basically the blood of young animals is said to contain molecules that can actually sort of rejuvenate a heart that has damage to it, as well as damaged brains and muscles in animals that are older adults. Using this, researchers aren't yet quite sure what molecules are creating this rejuvenation effect, but they are trying to find out. This is because perhaps humans might have a similar molecule that could also have these same qualities. This in the end could be used to at least delay, if not entirely prevent certain illnesses like dementia and heart failure. It's definitely all in a research stage at the moment, but it is exciting stuff nonetheless. In our number nine spot today, we have senescent cells. Okay, so for this one, we have to know what cellular senescence is. This is basically a phenomenon where cell division is sort of brought to an end. This means that senescent cells are cells that could once replicate themselves in order to repair tissue that is aging. So it has recently been proposed that these cells, not only are they stopping their replication and sort of regeneration, but that they also could be degrading the surrounding tissue by secreting harmful molecules. There was a lot of controversy for a while surrounding this theory that the senescent cells caused damage to us, but now that we know they do and why or how they do, we are now learning that these cells also could potentially be removed. This is a key factor that could potentially lead to a prolonged life. In our number eight spot today, we have a shark heart. While there are many animals who have a lifespan that is shorter than ours, there are a few creatures who can outlive us by centuries. It's important for us to look at some of the reasons these creatures live so long to see if maybe we can cash in on whatever deal they've got. The Greenland shark is one of these creatures with a lifespan that can exceed 400 years. They are likely to be one of the world's longest living vertebrates. So one of the things we believe helps with this exceptional lifespan is in the habitat of these creatures. Greenland sharks live about 2,000 meters below the surface of the ocean, which of course means the waters are incredibly cold. Extreme cold is associated with a slow metabolism as well as slow maturation. This is why these creatures don't reach adulthood until the age of 150. Imagine first getting your driver's license at 90 years old. Of course, we aren't about to start living in freezing waters 2,000 meters down, but we can look at how the body responds and adapts to these kind of environments and see what we can take from them. For example, our heart. The heart of these sharks beats once every 12 seconds. Could this be a part of the reason for their long life? That is exactly what researchers are trying to figure out. Holly Shields, who is a University of Manchester environmental physiologist, is studying the cardiovascular function of these sharks and says, quote, No one has studied Greenland sharks' hearts before, so we're hoping to find some completely new drug targets. If we discover pathways which prevent the heart from changing form and function with age, we can then try to develop drugs which mimic this process in humans. This may be beneficial for people particularly at risk of heart problems due to family history. In our number seven spot today, we have exercise. So it's no secret that exercise is a part of a healthy life. It does so much good for us. It's good for our mental health, our cardiovascular health. It can reduce body fat and lower blood sugar. You know, having a regular exercise routine can really improve your quality of life quite a bit, but it also might have the ability to extend our lives as well. It is thought that exercise actually slowed age-related processes within our cells, which in turn has a sort of anti-aging effect. The impacts of this would mostly be seen in ways that benefit our brain, but this is one of the most important things to focus on when it comes to extending our lifespan, making sure our brains stay healthy. We are now really starting to see the full benefits of exercise that includes both cellular and cognitive benefits. In our number six spot today, we have the ocean quahog. These creatures are one of the longest living animals, and of course people were trying their absolute best to figure out why, and we may just have been able Able to. Researchers believe that we may be able to link the long lifespan of these hard clams to their resistance to oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is basically caused by an imbalance between the production and the accumulation of oxygen reactive species in cells and tissues. In us humans, oxidative stress happens when there's an imbalance between free radical activity and antioxidant activity, and over time, this can lead to a variety of illnesses. While there are certainly things we can do to lower our oxidative 
state of stress, being resistant to it would of course be the most ideal. Researchers are comparing and looking into how we could possibly mimic this sort of trait in our own DNA. In our number five spot today, we have food. We all need food to live. We need nutrition, of course, but we know that not all food is created equally. We know that colorful veggies are better than just a plate full of meat, but how deep does this really go? Well, it is now being proposed that restricting certain foods without restricting calories might be able to increase our lifespan. When I speak about restricting foods, I don't mean fully cutting them out, but there are certainly things like a specific amino acid that experts are now thinking cutting back on might help to preserve our health. Nutrition is a really finicky thing and there are lots of theories and opinions out there, but it is thought that some new dietary approaches might have some promise along with being really practical as well. Not only what we eat, but also when we eat might end up being a major key as well. Timing our food intake and coordinating it properly with our biological or circadian clocks may just be able to extend our health and thus our life. In our number four spot today, we have immunity. Okay, we have another Greenland shark feature to talk about today that just may hold the keys to helping us extend our lifespan. Along with their resilient hearts, these sharks have a super, super low risk for getting things like cancer, as well as a multitude of different infectious diseases, and it is thought that their unusual immune system might be the culprit. So basically, in our human immune system, we rely heavily on white cells. These cells eat up all the bad stuff as fast as they can, and they are produced within our bone marrow. These sharks though, they don't have bone marrow and thus no white cells, so how are their bodies fighting off all of these illnesses? This is why researchers are now comparing the DNA of these sharks to that of other sharks to see if they can identify and spot the specific gene mutation that is helping to stop all of these illnesses. If we can find this mutation, we might be able to mimic it in ourselves and thus have this sort of shark superpower. It's basically like the real shark boy and lava girl, but just no lava only shark. In our number three spot today, we have testing. So right now, experts are currently conducting experiments on mice, and in doing so, they found a few different substances that have helped extend the life of mice. One of these drugs is called rapamycin, and it is already shown to have some pretty incredible age-related effects already. I know animal testing is a highly controversial thing, but just to explain the reason the testing is being done on mice is because it is thought that the aging process of mice is quite similar to that of a human. Considering some of the success they've had with mice and improving or lengthening their life, the hope is that use of these substances in humans will have the same positive effect. The substances work or could be formulated to not only alleviate but also prevent multiple different chronic diseases that are commonly seen in humans. It really would be an incredible feat if this were able to come to fruition. In our number two spot today, we have the immortal jellyfish. Something that we call immortal is definitely where we want to be looking when it comes to talking about extending our lifespan. These jellyfish were first discovered in 1883, but it wasn't until a hundred years later that their immortality was accidentally discovered. So basically, these guys start out in a free swimming larval form, and they will move through the ocean in the current until it finds a nice hard place to develop. It will mature and grow here and turn into polyps, which will then bud off and turn into young jellyfish. That's pretty regular, nothing too peculiar about that, but here's where things get immortal. These guys can reverse their life cycle. When they are physically damaged or stressed or starving, instead of kicking the bucket, they can just shrink back in on themselves, reabsorb their own tentacles, thus losing their ability to swim. They basically just sink to the sea floor in a little blob, but over the next day or so, this blob develops into a polyp, like the previous life stage. Once it matures a bit, it happens again that maturing jellyfish butt off. This is an extremely rare process, but it can be repeated in this species. This may just mean that if there were no predators around to worry about, these jellyfish might be able to just live forever. In our number one spot today, we have the gene switch. Based on recent studies, experts have been able to discover that we may just be able to reprogram our cells in a way that restores their function. Basically, the process involves a sort of turning on or off of a handful of genes, and this is said to allow basically any cell type in our body to be able to be reprogrammed in a dish. After this reprogramming, it is said that they will resemble the type of stem cell that all of our cells originated from, and that it may also restore much of the aspects of youthful cell function. 
They have been researching this through mice and those studies have shown that mice genes can be turned on and off at will and when some of them were turned off briefly, the results have shown to have rejuvenation of a ton of different bodily functions. It is said the effects have been seen in the muscles, the metabolism and even the optic nerves of older mice. If we could find a way to translate this into humans, who knows what the outcome would be. Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you next time. Bye.